Hi Virgo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your reading for October 16th to October 22nd. This is intended to be a weekly love reading. I have pre-shuffled these decks for you. We will see what comes up. This may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. I have created a Facebook group and you will find the link below and you could uh, get a mini uh, free reading, you know, during one of the live sessions. I usually pick about 20 people when I do them, and I give them many readings. Um, this is for the sign of Virgo. I think things are intense this week because I just heard the word intense. Intense. So I think there's something going on that's intense. Um, your heart might be beating pretty fast. All of a sudden my heart went, doo -doo -doo, but it's not. I mean, it's just a quick little heart. You know, you, you might have a, a time where your heart starts to beat fast over a situation, you know, where you're making a decision and it, uh, you know, makes your heart beat because it's a big one. Wow, two aces right next to each other, next to the karma card. And the karma card is the basis of your reading. Aces are for gifts from above. And they might not always be seen as a gift, but they are. Okay, and it's connected to the karma card. All right. I'm going to keep on. And there you are, Virgo. That's a man or a woman. The court cards are not really gender specific. In some cases they are, but not all. I'm going to use this is also my goodness another ace so that's the basis of your reading as well because the karma card which is judgment and the ace of cups that is the basis of your reading this week okay um but here we have you as i was saying three aces one 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 instant manifestation okay so when you get one 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 right off the bat your thoughts become things so i was telling another sign earlier you know, what you think is what becomes, whether you like it or not. Okay? It does. Alright? So, we have these three ones. One is a gift of happiness, a gift of love. The other is a gift of truth, an awakening, a breakthrough. And the other is a gift of excitement, perhaps a new partner, a new sexual partner even, perhaps. Or a business partner, whichever you you how it resonates with you. Um, but the basis, the main basis, is karma, judgment, a wake-up call, a breakthrough. And you have that twice. You have a breakthrough twice, right connected to each other. I think something is about to be revealed, or it has been revealed, you know. Something has been revealed, or it's about to be revealed, um, some kind of truth, okay. It may be heartbreaking. It may cause some grief. It may cause some regrets. Or you may have some regrets from the past. Um, I think some kind of um, truth is about to be revealed that causes a major breakthrough and leads to happiness. It leads to happiness. All right? But something is being, you're walking away from something. You're leaving something behind. Um, because you're not going to self-deceive. You're not going to deceive yourself anymore. I think um, you're looking for something more exciting. I think that um, there's been some boredom because this is this is um, excitement, looking for excitement. It's a kind of lusty energy, okay? Um, this is walking away from something, all right? Leaving something behind that no longer serves you, all right? Putting yourself in the driver's seat, moving forward, taking taking ownership. I'm, I'm you know what? I'm, I'm going to move now. I'm going to move on. We're moving on. We're moving away from the heartache. We're moving away from the grief. Okay? And it looks like um, you're, you have some choices here. Do you... Uh, a choice between love or financial stability. Okay? It looks like you're really, a lot of you are worrying about financial stability. And that's why you haven't made the move, okay? So, I, but I think that there's an awake, awakening here, a wake-up call. Um, that, <coughs> excuse me. 
sorry, forces you guys to move forward. Or not forces you, pushes you guys. Because I see you guys putting yourself in the driver's seat and moving. Making a move, you know. Um, away from something that was not what you were looking for, okay. You weren't looking for this um, strife. You're looking for excitement. You're looking for growth. We do have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, where we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius again. We have Cancer. Um, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well as players in this week. I do see that there could be some, um, there's definitely some grief. There's grief and heartache, okay? But I see that a lot of you are, are probably going to master your emotions and are definitely thinking about moving away from it, okay? Um, we're going to get the other deck and I'm going to shuffle. I think there's been some deceit, okay, in the picture. Perhaps, um, you know, with this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, there's been some deceit and maybe the secret becomes known, the truth comes out. Um, and you decide that it's time to make a move. Maybe that's you telling the truth. Maybe it's the other person telling you the truth, which causes somebody to make a move. The sun, it does lead to, we have the sun twice. Happiness, bliss, contentment. Um, so it, that's what's in the future, all right? And maybe it's happening right now. Knight of Pentacles, because the secret came out and you don't have to hold it anymore. You don't have to carry it anymore. It's like a relief. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and this is a breakthrough. This person can be kind of slow to move, and there may be some regrets or some rejections with this person, okay? Or this could be you feeling rejected. This could be you feeling... Um, sad and unhappy and like it's not moving forward it looks like something isn't moving forward and so you're going to take action there's, it's like there's no growth in a situation so it's time for you to take action you're looking for more you've really been worried about the outcome and I think the out, they're worried about finances I think and stability and security you know I do I think that a lot of worry that that is in that arena all right, um, but you're successful. You're not a failure. You're very successful, so there's nothing to be worried about. I see that you have um, you have the ability to thrive. Okay, it's not like you don't take action. It's not like you're not. Um, it's not like you are a couch potato. Okay, you get things done, so don't worry about it. Don't worry about a financial. And I know that sounds, I mean, it's like, oh my God, how can I not? Right? That's what you're thinking. If the Empress comes up, if the Empress comes up, that she doesn't worry about financial. She, she knows that she's going to get by. She has faith and trust. She hasn't come up, but I'm telling you about her anyway. And there she is. Holy crap, Ola. That's one of my favorite words. Yeah, and that's the outcome. <laughs> I love you, God. And I tell God and my angels this all the time, so I think this is why they help me. Oh, my goodness. And you just got to see that. It happens all the time with private readings. But anyway, um, <laughs> don't worry. If the message was correct. Don't worry about how you're going to do it. The, and the, your thoughts become things. Let the universe drive. They have your back. They see your beauty. They see your worth. You're working with them. They're working with you. <laughs> have faith that you will survive and get through with whatever this is. Because you will. It's all in the name of love. I think you, you're looking for the ultimate commitment. And you have to let something go to find your ultimate happiness. But you're stuck and you're scared because of security and stability. 
You know, that's... Don't worry about it. She doesn't worry about it. She gets by it with her beauty. Her beauty gets her through everything. Her inner beauty. Her outer beauty too, but her more so her inner beauty. She believes... She loves without expectations, and the universe knows it. I'm getting you one of these. Here it is. Listening. Listening. Listening to your inner guide. Listening to your heart. Listening to your soul. Following your own path. That's why that card came out. Because you haven't been listening to your, to your own needs. Your own desires. Your own wants. It's time to start listening. To what you want. Talk to you later, Virgo. <laughs>